Hi everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be drawing a superhero based off of one of my drawings. We're going to take my interpretive style from about nine months ago and then we're going to take it and modify it into a somewhat realistic version of a superhero. So let's get started here. We'll start with um, creating a new file here. 1117, we'll do 600 dpi, and yeah, let's get started. So I have a, a reference set up already here on the computer of uh, a pose that, I want, that I'm after for this specific hero. So the hero itself is uh, named Lacewing. And he's kind of uh, just a brutish, angry superhero. He just wants to go through and smash and destroy. So, yeah, let's see what we can do here. I wonder if I actually have this in my files here. So yeah, he'll, he'll be in here. So this is the drawing for that. And Lacewing is going to be this character right here. We'll copy him and just put him in here. Put him up in the corner. Just use him as a reference. He has these big, um, they're like mandibles, but not on his face, but on his arms. And he uses them to slice and break and slash things. So let's add a new layer. We'll just reduce the opacity on that. It doesn't need to be overly intense. This is going to be the sketch layer. We can lock this down too. So. All right, so let's get started here with the drawing. <clears throat> Make sure that I got a, a fineness that works. I've kind of got accustomed to using the certain brush here in around nine for the initial drawings. Seems to work quite well. Just going to turn this layer off. All right, and then we're just going to start with our, our our basic pose, our center line. We'll hammer that out.
His chin's way up in the air. You can see the proportions on my legs got a little funky there. And just the, just the zoom out that I was doing there just made everything look so funny. <clears throat> Funky, funky, funky. But this character itself needs to just be centered a little bit more. And we'll continue with the drawing. His hand is a little far over there. We'll get a little bit of an elbow. His arm in the actual picture, but I think I like it coming up a little bit higher up. Keep those shoulders. Map out some of the general chest area.
There's definitely some weird stuff going on here. I will fix it. Oops, I hit my button by accident. Yeah, for one, the this shoulder bit. And somebody's deciding to text me at the same time here. Just getting some of the uh, t-shirts ready for the Sasquatch Klondike, so I'm just uh, figuring out which accounts I should be using to put that through right now. Yeah, and I think the size and proportions weird down towards the his lower end of his body, like it's really heavy towards the bottom. I think that's where it's getting me here. So we're going to go up through the belly, control T, and we're just going to size it down a bit. We're going to move it up a little bit and over. We can also angle it a bit more to you. Let's take a look at that. Did that work or not? Just the torso on this character is actually fairly long, so... <clears throat> This is just an underdrawing, so we're going to drop this down just a wee bit more, add another layer, and uh, probably just go into it a little bit more, more detailed. Oh, should I ramp up the... no, we'll keep it the same. So we're going to get some nice things here we'll work the muscles here and then get those muscles that wanna shoot up there come out here the shoulder. Might have been some shortening in through the, the hip. A 
that he is. <coughs> shortening of the neck, some jawbone, widen out the face, bring it up a bit more, flatten the forehead, bring down the side of the head, have back of the head here, chin up, That's good. Um, another thing is I want to extend the arms a little bit lower. Like this right here, somewhere in here, is going to be his belly button. And that's usually where you're going to get the arms coming out of. And it's just figuring out how I want the hands here. Is there going to be some curl over? See any of the top parts of the hand? Thumb. <coughs> Plane change.
go into the packs a little bit more here. Nice to zoom in here a little bit just to see what I'm looking at. And just how I'm gonna proceed with these little muscles. The scribbly hands there. Let's take a look, zoom out a bit. Yeah, the length of the body's decent, the head itself. I think it just looks weird because he's so. <clears throat> he's so uh, angled here. It's going to be somewhere in here. And this character, I'm just trying to figure out, you know, what I want to do for his mandibles and obviously these layers are just going to need to shrink a little bit for his mandibles to show up go back to layer two And he is going to have some sort of iron, or iron, the armor. As to the type of armor I'm going to create. Once again, I'm just kind of getting a little bit more sketchy here, making some more suggestions.
draw in some big veins. Maybe beef up the size of his forearm a little bit. Bulge out his bicep a bit. Put some veins in there. A suggestion of an elbow. I'm just going to bring this down a little bit more. Now I'm just kind of going with the flow. Looking at my reference a little bit here and there, but <clears throat> now I can start knocking in my own suggestions and Just changing certain things a bit. We could do the uh, the good old cheater style here and. Control copy, control paste, control T, right click, flip horizontally, and slide your home. Go back in, down to the next layer, delete it, and then shift, right click, Merge layers, and that is now part of that layer as well. So there you go. You got a quick how-to on how to how to do some uh, some manipulation. All right. We're just going to size them down a little bit more. This mandible seemed it <coughs> really be showing up. All right, so let's take a look at our character. And the character is vastly different than, um, as you can see, my drawing style when I illustrated more as a character illustrator. This is more so the style that I was after. This is the style that I've been working on and developing over the last few months here while being at home and loving life as much as I can. So yeah, we're just going to get into the sketch a little bit more. Kind of beef some up, take some away. A big fat muscle here. There's should be like a cross section of. I'm not an anatomy guru. It's been a long time since I've been in a, an anatomy class or anything like that. So I'm just going with the flow. kind of trying to discover and I don't know if this shit makes sense. Let's go. 
come down and come out. I'm sure I could relax on the amount of uh, muscles I'm showing. I know people are big advocates about, you know, drawing and, and following how other people draw until you kind of form your own style and stuff, but sometimes taking things on yourself and and allowing yourself to learn uh, outside of being influenced by others as well. You can show and um, develop a style, I think, fairly quickly as well. <clears throat> your own independent, uh, you know, styles and how you want to draw. Some people make their legs fatter and, and bulkier and other people make their, their legs a little bit more, uh, sticky and narrow and some people make their heads bigger and some make them smaller and some make their abs round and some make them chisly. You know, it's all, all about exploring and, and feeling good about how you want to accomplish your overall drawing as well. So there we go. There's the general anatomy of my character here. So this guy has, I guess that translates into more of a, uh, like a mask in his eyes itself. Maybe I should just move him up here. And I still can't see it. <laughs> yeah, so they're angled. Another thing I could do is go back into the world of copying and pasting. Do this, control T, space them over, space them down. <clears throat> His, his eyes are angled a little bit down, which could create an interesting mask. But we can take the perspective by twisting it a bit and drawing it forward, pulling it back. And that's in order to control these independent nodes, you just use the control button, double click it. And Take this layer, drag it down, create another layer. Control T, flip horizontally. And then just put it into perspective here by altering the nodes a little bit. Just kind of tweak it until it looks the way you want it to look, I guess. Looks like he's got one big eye and one small eye, but that's fine. We got both layer fours. We'll shift and select the other layer. Merge layers. We will. I don't know what happened to the other layer there. Back into the history. Move me out of the way. 
what is going on here? What happened to my lair? It just disappeared. That is super weird. All right. So let's do that again. Control T. Look horizontally. Depends how this is too. Um, it could curve around his face, stop here, show more of the... Alright, so let's merge layers. Did I do that to begin with? I do not know. We'll drop the opacity down on it. Let's just hide this layer now. Like he's he has armor over his hands, he has armor over his chest and stuff, but <coughs> we can modify that however we choose. So now we have like an eye structure over here. And then we can, you know, create a bulbous right there. Kind of weird with a pointed out chin. Just make his his jaws go in a bit. See the lace wing too. They go through different. Um, Anamorphic changes through their their lifetime. They start out as a you know a bug that crawls around and eats other bugs, and then they go into a uh, I can't remember any of the terminologies, but they basically end up turning into a flying bug. So I can't remember that phase. I should be able to remember, but I don't. <clears throat> we can probably cut off a little bit of the back of his head as well. Holy, holy shit, my eraser is like massive. I was doing some other work, so... Just narrow this out a bit. Does that look right? Does it look like he has a jaw? Or will it be lost from his neck muscles? Bulging. Bulging neck muscles. <clears throat> okay, so this sketch layer is done, and now what we can do is get into a more of a, a soup layer. Soup. Let's go for a soup layer. Like he had like a kind of a beveled head. How will that look with a 
a beveled head. <clears throat> Sorry, I've been watching like Doctor Rocker and uh that little theme is just in my head right now. Spandex. Everybody loves spandex. And in this case, they it's mandex. Because uh, I don't know how many dudes you see wearing spandex on a regular basis, but hey, teach their own. You should just go total muscle. I think it'd be maybe expose his arms a little bit to the lower part. with some sort of inner belt. <clears throat> oh, all the choices, all the choices. Just so many choices. The choices. Sorry, I'm just screwing around with the uh, <clears throat> this pen. Kind of working more and more layers over top here, but 
I don't get in a general sense of where I want to go with this this costume. guess if he has like a like a mask or something like this you, you're not gonna see his ears you're just gonna see uh... <clears throat> which is all right Oh, so lovely. Well, we've been screwing around now for 50 minutes, so. It's a pretty good little session here. <coughs> nice and elongated body. if I should just stop this right here and then uh, we can continue drawing at another point or just stop this video and start another video but anyways thank you for stopping by and watching me as I create one of my characters as a more realistic character opposed to my illustrative character style so yeah continue following and watch the next video here on the more refined drawing as we get into some of the weighted line work and then getting to the blacks and possibly some of the rendering. I want to try possibly <coughs> using some of the uh, cross-hatching uh, cross rendering for this character. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. And then maybe we'll color it up or add some background stuff. I'm not 100% sure on where we're taking this, but yeah, let's go.